Is it true that after just three months cyber security training, you can earn six figure salary? Is it true that I can just do some short course and be making so much money? What do I have to do as a cyber security professional? Do I have to learn coding, networking? How are people making money? Yes, there's a high demand. Cyber security professionals and people claim they are making so much in it. How is it possible? Is it really true? Is it scam or is it legit? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the breakdown, how you can end up in cybersecurity in the right way, how you can make money in cybersecurity, and what you have to do, right? Cybersecurity has come into two folds, the technical and then non-technical. Where are you placing yourself? And where is the entry mode? Yes, yeah, so this is DK Cyber from Cyber One Defense. So, this is your first time watching us. Can you do what to subscribe, share for people to be part of this community? We want you to understand the right way how cybersecurity is and what it is and everything about it. There's a, it seems there's a lot of videos out there and possibly this is your first video watching about cybersecurity and this will not be your last video. Why? Because you keep on running through videos. You keep on looking for tools and forgetting fundamentals, forgetting structures. That is a problem. And today we're going to get into it right now so let's quickly hit up onto the screen right and see what it is right here now so when i want to do cyber security right what is it about now watch me closely now when we are talking about cyber security we are talking about the protections that we give you know protections that we can have for mobile devices network systems everything but i'm asking a big question a simple question can you protect something that you don't know? Can you protect something that you don't know? Assuming I'm protecting something, can I protect something that I don't know? Of course, no. So, will you picking a cyber security course for three months? I do you know the system very well you are going to protect. Do you want companies to hire you to protect their service? Do you know their service? Ah, I'm coming. What? You want to protect their website. Do you know how a website works? Do you know the code that was used? Do you understand it? Now, so that is very basically what it is, right? So now to do cyber security, let's get it the right way. In, yes, I can pick up some three-month course and that could land me a job, but just a beginner job in cyber security. That I could be landed, maybe I'm into law, I'm into medicine, I'm into any aspect, you know, of, you know, uh, fields. And then I take cyber security, I can add up. Now, you have to understand that cyber security comes in two food, technical and non-technical. So if you're looking about technical people, we are talking about the ethical hackers, penetration testers, and all those things. Those are the courses you are picking for three months. And do you think that three months is enough for you? Well, I'll come back to that. Now, the non-technical is also what we call the GLC, the governance risk compliance, so that we read about policies, how things should be done. And do you think also just that is enough for you? Now, so now let me come here. So now here, one of the basic things that you need to understand is that you need to understand networking. I'll come there. But if you are into cyber security, you cannot tell me that you're into cyber security without what you not knowing about the operating system. You should know about the operating system. That is the core first. Why? Because I'm talking about the platform I'm going to use, right? So I'm using Windows, I'm using Mac, I'm using Linux. So in the cyber security space, you need to understand the operating system. So exactly, uh, at least if you understand the Linux. So you need to know Linux command line. Why is Linux command line uh, better or a, a good option for you? Yes, so I'm going to answer that very shortly. So be with me and follow and subscribe to our platform. Now, so when I go, I need to install Linux. I need to use Linux. I need to understand the command lines. Linus command lines, right? Now, so with Linus command lines, I'm, I'm now starting with that because, see, I always advise students to start that, get the structure, the system I'm going to use. So, right from the word go, I'm not using Windows, I'm using Linus. It helps me to understand, it helps me to not know, uh, be in the middle and come back to learn Linus. So, I'm, I'm running Linus, I'm have all my slides, my education, all platforms on Linus. Why? Because I'm going to use Linux and it, it, it helps me 
I understand more what's happening at the back end. It helps me to run more tools than the Windows. It has a lot of you know tools available for me to do testing. It has a lot of because I'm talking about protecting. So I can also set up a hacking lab and then try to understand what is happening there. Being it technical or non-technical. I'm writing policies to organizations to talk about password safety, password security. And I don't know how even hackers hack password. How do I write such a policy? So it is it is a very fundamental core for you to understand the practicality of cybersecurity before you end up. If not, you may end up, but at the end of the day, you may be having challenges, right? Now, so that is very important. Now, so when you come to here, when you go to Google, you can just go to Google and search for. So you have you can search for I want some cybersecurity collection, GitHub, non-technical GLC. Or, or you can just say I want some cybersecurity collection here. Then here I have this one here. I have was I have the GRC one here. So 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 that one you can have actually a whole materials to understand about the GRC here. So 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 so, so that is this one. Now I also have the technical one. So I go to this platform. Um, this was done by this guy here. Um, this I want some cybersecurity collection. I I tend to love this collection because. It's, it talks about everything within cybersecurity. Now, so when you come to the I want some cybersecurity collection, you, you click on this guy here, it brings you here. Now, look at this. So, here that's it. So, it, it, it lets you understand networking. You start with networking, right? So, you understand networking because the networking, the internet relies on the networking. We are we are operating on a network and everything. You two don't understand how this networking is. So you just have to understand the network and have a networking. So I recommend you can take up maybe uh, A, uh, CompTIA A, A plus. Then before you go to Security Plus, you just don't start with Security Plus unless maybe you have knowledge about these uh, beginning things, right? So you have kind of tools here. Then they, they give you explanation of some of the scanning tools that you may need. Uh, monitoring tools that you may need, IDS, IPS, because you are talking about protecting organization. Don't just be reading about it, right? And the mistake we are doing is that we are looking for tools. So if I do a video, how to hack this, everybody will be watching that video. They don't understand the, the fundamentals behind it. And we tend to have fundamental problems because we believe that we are too big than fundamentals. So if you see a page talking about fundamentals of something, it's like people don't really want it, right? You need to read about it. You need to do a whole lot of research about it, right? So yes, the market seems very lovely. So when it comes to Upwork, people are putting their gigs on cybersecurity. They are spending so much. They are taking so much fiber. A lot of cybersecurity gigs are there. Companies are promising comp uh, individuals in cybersecurity. They are giving them six-figure salary job. Right, and um, you want to also end up there. If you go to some of them, you could see three years working experience because it is not just a certificate, also experience, right? So then you need to you need to you need to learn about that, read about the, the, them, and you see that you need to read books. So you see here, I have books. I buy I buy books. I read them. You can I will show you how to get free books to also read. You have these books. I have I buy books. So you see here a lot of powerful books so you see here i have done my security plus i have read this all these books before then i have my gray hat hacking these are all books here there are chunks of books here i read around cyber security regs and all those things then there are chunks of them i read around wireless on this there are chunks of these there are chunks of security so you look at the security and computing right these are all books that uh, I, I read right uh i also am into forensics so i read forensic books here you understand then we have a lot of we have other books here right i have other books that are written by myself too here and my boss we have books here right so all these things are things that we we, we really have around today right so you see here and um, then you see maybe you may not have money you may not have the chance to get all these books right so how can we still have access to all these these books now so you come to platforms like this come here with me i go to pdf drive i go to pdf drive so i can just search for cyber security book cyber security or i can just say introduction to cyber security intro so here introduction to cyber security right here so I have I I search for these I I I I can have some kind of uh, books here so 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 it's going to search for me 
right now so I, I have pdf drive it's a place so i cannot purchase the hard copy books but i can i can get the soft copy books and then and, and, and read it right it's, it's still loading for me then i can also come to platforms like openlibrary.org right we also have books here that you can actually read now so now understanding this cyber security with just three months course is it enough for you no it's not enough but it's it's a good starter and you're understanding the concept but forgetting about the fundamentals because if you purchase cyber security course within three months nobody's going to show you networking nobody's going to show you operating systems nobody's going to show you the cloud things nobody's going to show you about command lines it's just going to be about the tools and the fundamentals they start with you what is cyber security they go through with the threats and these things they go through with the scanning so how what am i scanning for the ip addresses what are they what did they do what are they doing know this that hackers are smart guys they are very intelligent guys so they look into systems and look at the errors the flaws right so if you look at you are looking around risk risks we say that what vulnerability times threat right so they are looking at these vulnerabilities and then you're able to take advantage of it and not forget that vulnerability is a weakness in systems are you able to see the weakness in systems when you see the weakness in system you understand but you see that you have finished your 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 your, your, your ch you need job as cyber security professional then you go for interviews you may be given the job but you may not be able to do it do you understand because you don't understand it so hey if you want to start it i don't want you to get there and remember this video let's get it right since we are now starting in cyber security get the right thing first right now let's look for operating system get your kali installed on your system use that as the base operating system you are using why because it helps you understand a lot of tools it helps you run a lot of commands it helps you a lot of things that you are doing so don't run windows right and i that is mine that 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 is my my, my point so let's start with the operating system then read understand it when it comes to operating system understand the file structure understand the file structure see they have a lot of tools here don't just look at the tools these are all tools developed for you well you can use them but understand how the tools are working we have platforms too. so if you come here all the tools that we have here they are here look at them they give you the uh, knowledge in them so you see them here how to use nmap and all those things those are the command line then you understand networking a little bit so you can you can look for networking videos you can read about uh, how ip uh, uh, mac addresses ip addresses the security the ips the ids you look at them right so now you are setting yourself in the right tone now when you want to get into programming if you know programming is best that one you may likely be successful in what we call the penetration testing the web testing because you are going to test applications to see but even if you are not a programmer, you can still do penetration testing successfully, right? So it's everywhere, wherever you are coming from, that's where you enter. Assuming you are somebody, you are watching this video, and then, well, you are not well abreast with computing. You are not okay doing all these things. You cannot program, you, but you still want to do cybersecurity. That is when you go into the GRLC. That is the non-technical. Now, with the GRLC, with the non-technical, those ones what are we doing here we are so with the jrc the non-technical we are looking at governance risk compliance we are looking at policies we are looking at uh, agreements we are looking about how uh, how we can manage the cyberspace we are that's where we have a lot of certifications under them so that one too is not quite beginning because that one you expected to have knowledge from other areas and, and you are bringing it to the, into the security area so that you can also look at this there's this material here you can actually go to the NIST frameworks and all those there are a lot of frameworks that you can actually look for right so you can actually learn that over here so so that's it and then if maybe you want to really enhance your skills you have you started cyber security you want to enhance your skills there are platforms like um uh hack the boss try hack me hack the boss whereby you can start you know practicing some capture the flags you start practicing the whatever you are doing you you start really practicing it you know in, in the real life you know kind of they give you scenario based they give you testing base that you can actually test some in your skill so these are some of the things that you can actually do you see 
this platform this is not the last video i'm doing on this i'm going to guide you through these things so please take it step by step don't rush into this yes you want to end up in cyber security read you have to be somebody who likes to read love to understand things you have to be curious you have to be that curious person you want to find out about a lot of things ask a lot of questions understand it right and don't just think that after three months we are going to be perfect after three months it's good to set my tone up that i need to go up right and be careful know that before they give you any non-technical job you need to have a github page you need to kind of do a project have a project a project on your github so if you look at this like somebody's project that he has done so people want to understand that is this person speaking our language you know understand our language these are some of the things that we could do these are some of the hard truths that people don't know but then again you can also pick up the courses that make sure that even as in as much as you're picking the courses you are doing other training other studies around to equip yourself right so to get the best training cyber one defense we also have a training session that we do you can go to our website you can just look for cyber one defense and then you can join our training session in case you have any cyber problem cyber issue cyber related issue you can also come to this platform to report so this is cyber one so cyber one guard right dot com right here so this platform you can just come here so here so welcome to cyber one defense communication cyber crime reporting platform a are you just enter cyber one guys so here we welcome you any issue that you have you can come here to actually report so you have issues with mobile money fraud whatsapp hacks social media hacks sextortion email track all these things cyber one guide is there to help you right so if this video you like it just give us a thumbs up like subscribe we are going to give you a lot of secret and how to on these things and then we're also going to give you how we are going to give you training on cyber security so why don't you subscribe share for other people to join this great community this is dk cyber until we meet again i say thank you